Good morning, ESM. I'm Luke. And I'm John. Let's get right into news. Why not? Indoor farmers markets are now open for the winter season following New York guidelines for the pandemic. The Department of Agriculture and Markets released a statement including local markets that were broken down by the country. Not only that, but markets are listed as essential around the nation. The guidelines for markets include the same rules applied everywhere, which are wear a mask, stay socially distant, don't touch a lot of the food unless buying it, and wash your hands and use hand sanitizer. The vendors at their stations have to constantly clean, limit the amount of customers at their table, and pre-package raw, raw products. Some of these include the Regional Market, Fayetteville Farmers Market, Syracuse East Side Neighborhood Market, and Downtown Syracuse Farmers Market. The governments of Nepal and China have decided that Mount Everest is indeed two feet taller. The tallest mountain on Earth is now recorded as 29,031 feet tall. This is two feet taller than previously recognized by the government of Nepal. The new measurements are not set in stone yet as map, mar map makers continue to analyze the new findings. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, so oh today we're going to be talking about some movies and whether they are Christmas themed or not. Yes. We got a little list in front of us here and we're going to talk about them. Start us off, Luke. Okay. Harry Potter. Uh, to, my, to be honest, doesn't really sound like a Christmas movie to me. There yeah, were some I'll scenes, obviously, as you can see here, where there was Christmas themes. Here, read the, read the, read the thing. Read the thing. All right. This, this, if you, in case you don't know, it's yeah. about an orphaned boy who enrolls in a school of wizardry where he learns the truth about himself, his family, and the terrible evil that haunts the magic world. So what do you think? This, why, do, why do you think this is even on the list? Because uh, it takes place during Christmas? Uh, no, I don't think it's a Christmas movie. Right, uh, right, right. There are just some Christmas scenes. However, the movie is not based around Christmas. So. I also don't think it's a Christmas movie. There we um, go. We but, agree. All right, so the next one is A Nightmare Before Christmas. Jack Skellington, king of Halloween Town, discovers Christmas Town, but his attempts to bring Christmas to his home causes confusion. What do you think? Christmas. I'd say it's definitely think it's a Christmas, Christmas movie. Yeah. It's hard for me because I watch this during Halloween as well, like mm -hmm. with my sister and all that stuff. But I'd like, say it can be both, to be honest. Yeah, I would say it's both. It's. I feel like it's more Halloween, but I'd also Christmas. say it's also Christmas. That's a fair point. I would agree. That's a fair point. And before we get into our next two, let's go on to weather. Today, on Tuesday, we will have a high of 32 and a low of 29 with sun and clouds, but it's still going to be really chilly. Wednesday, we'll have some rain and snow while being a little warmer than Tuesday, but it's still going to be cold. Thursday is Hanukkah night, and it will be sunny and cloudy with the same temperatures as Wednesday, but just a little warmer. Friday will still be similar to Thursday, but it will be a little warmer once again, so it's slowly warming up with sun and clouds. Saturday is going to reach the 50s with PM showers, and Sunday and Monday will start to rapidly cool down with snow on both days. I'm Grayson with your weather. Welcome back. Now, let's get on to our next two movies. The next movie on the list is Die Hard, Die which is about an NYPD officer who tries to save his wife and several others taken hostage by German terrorists during a Christmas party at the Nakatomi Plaza in Los Angeles. Now, I, I, I really like this movie. I think it's very good, but I don't think it's a Christmas movie. Although there are Christmas references like that right <laughs> there, um, it's not really based around Christmas. It's based around a hostage situation with one cop taking, him, taking all the bad guys down. So. I'm going to disagree with you. Of course. I've never seen the movie, but I'm still going to disagree with you for the sake of disagreement. <laughs> um, so I just, 
based on like what I've read about it and things and what I've heard about it. I'm gonna say that it is a Christmas movie because it has a lot of Christmas references. It takes place during Christmas, like you saw he's wearing the Santa hat. And to top it all off, in the show Fuller House, they say that it is a Christmas movie. And I'm gonna go with them because I feel like I can trust them because it's full house, so why wouldn't you? Leave it to John to trust a TV show. All yeah. right, why don't you tell us about the next one? All right, so the, the next one is Gremlins. A boy inadvertently breaks three important rules concerning his new pet and unleashes a horde of malvolent, you can read that word. Malvolently? Yeah, mischievous monsters on a small town. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I have not seen this movie. I'm pretty sure. I what? think I've seen. I think I've seen some things about this movie, and uh, I would say it's a Christmas movie. I mean, there's a lot of Christmas references. I mean, look, there's a guy with the Christmas hat right there. So I'm gonna disagree with you again, not for the sake of di disagreement, because I actually disagree this time. I personally, and a lot of you might not agree with this, but I don't think it's a Christmas movie. I think it's one of those like Harry Potter things, like, and I get it's about gifting and things like that and like learning the rules of what all that stuff. But I just don't see it as a Christmas movie. I don't know, it's lacking that like Christmas thing. And Fuller House never said it was a Christmas movie. So, you know, what are you gonna do? <laughs> you know what, I'll take your word on that because I haven't seen the movie myself. And now let's get to sports with us actually. Us, actually, yeah. All right, you can, you can start us off. All right, Syracuse basketball is 3-0 this season even with their obstacles with COVID-19 thrown at them. Tonight they play Rutgers, who is also 3-0 this season. This is an anticipated to be a challenging game for the Orange, and they play at 9.30 p.m. tonight. And uh, some disheartening news. Um, the upsets continue in the NFL as the Washington football team upset the Steelers and ended their hopes of an undefeated season. That's my team, for those of you that don't know. Quarterback Alex Smith led the offense with 296 passing yards and one passing touchdown. Washington's defense played great too. Line, linebacker John Bostick had very clutch interception late in the game off a tip pass by teammate Montez Sweat. The Buffalo Bills also beat the San Francisco 49ers 34-24. Quarterback Josh, or jo Josh Allen threw for 375 touchdowns and four firsts. <laughs> 375 yards and four touchdowns. Good job. Sorry. Now, wait, before we get before we get back to the movie stuff, I do want to say about the Steelers <laughs> that I'm gonna blame this one on the offensive coordinator because he tried to use the run game and we just don't have a run game. All right, we can't get into this so now. Put that on his fault. <laughs> just just throwing that out there. But it's not about the undefeated season. You it's know, it's sure. about the Super Bowl. You know, ring number seven coming in very soon. Yeah, have fun um, with the Chiefs in the playoffs, buddy. All right. Anyways, whatever. Back to movies and the stuff that actually matters. Well, no, it doesn't matter, but still. <laughs> um, overall, most of these were probably not Christmas, Christmas movies, except for Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, my, I'm, I do want to say... Star Wars is not a um, Christmas Star movie. Star Wars either. is a Christmas movie. No. And, um, Luke, you can't say things like that because you're going to disappoint your father, and he's right there. Luke, that's your father. How do you feel? Yeah. Disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right, now let's wrap this up. Uh, from me, John, and everybody, everybody else here at the morning show. And Darth Vader. And, and, and Darth Vader. Have a great day.